Hi, I'm Mitch Miller and this is Disability TV. We're here in the Daniel Boone National Forest in Kentucky doing some hikes. Uh, I have a mental health disability and I doesn't preclude me from getting out and outdoors and hiking. For those with physical disabilities, I capture it on uh, video or just people that don't can't get outdoors uh, for you to enjoy. So uh, we're going to do a loop today. It's, uh, it's the... Uh, we're getting back on the rough trail and then we're going to take the Bush Ridge Trail to loop back around and I'll show you a map at the end of the hike. So let's get started. And this is my lovely spouse here hike in front of us. It's Hillary. Pretty wide trail at the beginning and as I always say you can mute the narration. Uh, I narrate for those with uh, blindness. Uh, physical disability for most. Uh, some it doesn't. Some don't consider it probably a disability but Technically, I guess it is. Um, so I narrate for them. Uh, so basically you could mute the uh, audio and just put on your favorite nature soundtrack while you enjoy the video of the trail. Make sure it has flies buzzing so you capture the essence. Yeah, you gotta get the flies buzzing around your head. There's a mushroom. I saw a bunch of Quite a few yeah. mushrooms here. Mushrooms on the trail. There's a bunch on the side. It's kind of a sandy wide trail here. We're gonna hike to Gray's Arch, which is a mile away. We'll check out the arch, which is a rock formation. And we gotta hike another mile on rough trail till we hit Bush Ridge Trail, which cuts back towards the parking area where the map is. And it looked like on the map we're going to be hiking down into a stream bed again. So we'll be changing elevation quite drastically I imagine about halfway through this hike so this is disability TV it's a fledgling media company for disabled people by disabled people uh, they often don't get enough representation in the media and uh, ideally, because as I've said before, you can hear me burp on here, hear my heavy breathing. The camera's strapped to my head. You're really selling this. Yeah, the camera's, it's not great. That's why I say mute it, please. Uh, the camera's strapped to my head. There's also an option to strap it to my chest, which is right under my mouth and nose, which I think you would hear breathing even more. Um, but ideally, It'd be good to get a team of physically fit individuals, men and women, that like hiking and get a uh, Hollywood grade steady cam to walk all of these trails with a high definition steady cam and just hand that off every two or three minutes. Somebody moves up to the front of the formation when they get fatigued from carrying the steady cam and uh, then you won't have all these sounds on here you'll just have hiking beautiful HD coverage of all of these trails so we got a little grass in the middle of the trail here someday maybe this uh, media company will generate the type of money to be able to afford teams of people to cover hikes 
for the disabled and those that just don't want to be out with the ticks and the uh, wildlife. Horsefly. Maybe live in a large city where you have to drive several hours to get out to a hiking trail. Don't have access to the hiking. This way you can enjoy it in the comfort of your own home. We're entering a clearing of uh, tall weeds and grass. Trail narrowed down quite a bit. We're on the top of a ridge. There a bluebird just flew up. Some wildflowers to my left and right. Yellow wildflowers on my left. There's a tree in the middle of the trail here, just growing straight up out of the middle of the trail. Another mushroom on the left hand side of the trail. And we're dropping a little elevation, about a foot every 15 or 20 feet. And an overturned tree with a root ball on my right. Up ahead we got a tree over the trail about 12 to 15 feet high bridging over the trail. Some pines my left and right. So we started from the area of the rough trail that we covered yesterday. We walked in from the parking lot point three miles made a left on the rough trail to continue our Daniel Boone hut loop. Today we made a right at that junction. We're headed further out into the wilderness on the rough trail. A lot of roots over the trail through here. Making our way to Gray's Arch. Some grasses along the trail. Even though we dropped some elevation, seems like we're still at the top of a ridge here. Yeah, we're coming to the end of this segment.